Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this episode, I'll be teaching you how to make these rainbow gum paste foodies. These are the tools that I'll be using, and I'll have a link in the description box where you might be able to find these, plus a template as well if you can't find them, but you'd like to use some paper templates to cut out the fondant with. So I'm just cutting out two of those, making sure that the base of the shoe is nice and thick, so probably about four millimeters in thickness for the gum paste. And I'll turn one upside down, or kind of reverse it, and that way we have a left and a right shoe. So I've got the body of the shoe here, and I'm using the little uh, circle attachment. Now I have included this in the template simply because you could always just use a straw to do this. So it makes it a lot easier on you guys. And I like to cut a little circle at both ends, and that way it makes it a lot easier for me to determine where the middle is. So you want to make it perfectly even, those three circles spaced apart. And then I've got my airbrush here and I'm going in with my red begin. And I was going in at about a 45 degree angle and I'm realizing it shifts the shoe. So you want to go directly above the shoe when you're um, airbrushing. And you'll want to leave... You want to make sure that the red is thick enough so that you have enough space for the red and the orange as well. So now when you go over with the yellow, you have to overlap slightly with the red to create the orange. And the same goes for the yellow. You'll want to overlap the yellow with the red, then you'll want just a yellow strip and then an extra piece of yellow so you can overlap with blue and make green. That's a bit of a process here. You kind of have to go back in you know, your high school days and how to blend colors and all that jazz. It's pretty easy. And then go in with your blue, overlap the yellow to create the green and then create the blue strip and then just go in with the purple color. And I'm using the Americolor airbrush colors for this. And then I let those set and in the meantime I'll start forming the rest of the shoe. So I have the tongue here and I'm going to add a little bit of edible glue to the edges of my sole here. And edible glue is just glucose syrup and water, that's what I use. And then attach just around the edges of the tongue and just attach it to the base. And then add a little bit of cotton buds or something into the middle there that'll help to keep it in shape. So you want it standing and you want that top tongue to be lifted as well. And then I'm going to start assembling the rest of the shoe. So I've got the body here and I let it a dry in that shape. So I let it set kind of standing and folded like that. It makes it a lot easier for when you're assembling. And then just press it against the bottom where you attached, where you added that glue. And just help it out here. And then I add a little bit extra at the top so that the section with the holes would stick to the tongue. And that will help it to remain lifted as well. It's so got a better look of how I'm doing it here. Making sure to attach it at the bottom. Press it all into the sides, and same on the tongue as well. You might find that you need to add a little bit extra edible glue for the top part. Now I'm creating the piece that goes on top of the tongue, so the kind of toe section. And I'm just imprinting a kind of stitching sort of pattern at the top. And around the sides as well. But you don't actually have to do the sides because they're going to be covered anyway, I realized afterwards. So you can skip this section if you like. And that's just using a stitching wheel. I'm going to add edible glue to the front of my shoes and add on my little toe section. Just like so. I'm using a ruler to cut out strips of fondant and that's going to go around the whole outside of the shoe. And be sure to start and end on the inside um, of the shoe so when you look at it from the side you can't see where it begins and ends if you know what I mean. So see how on that shoe it's on the inside i.e. it's the right shoe but it's beginning and ending on the left side of that right shoe. I hope that made sense. Anyway, next step I'm going to attach my laces and I've cut out little um, strips of fondant, same kind of thickness as what we use for the bottom and I'm pinching the sides just so that it looks a lot more realistic as if the lace is actually entering that circle piece that we cut out. And then the rest of the laces I'll position them diagonally so it's going up 
the shoe. And have it overlap as well. And continue applying until you reach the very top of your shoe. Gonna make little bows to go on top. And I've just kind of folded in so that I have two loops and then I'm sticking it together in the center and adding just a little piece on top of that so you can't see where it begins and ends. So that'll be like the little knot in the center. And cut off any excess. And then using some edible glue, I'm going to position that on the very top of the shoe and making sure to hold that in place for a couple of seconds just to make sure it adheres, otherwise it might fall off. And like your last, add the little loop at the back of the shoe as well. And that's how you make rainbow gum paste booties. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. These are really, really easy to make if you have an airbrush. Uh, well, if you don't have an airbrush, you can try your luck with some coloured uh, lust dust. Since it might not blend as well if you use powders compared to an airbrush. But I think it can be done. If you guys would like to see that tutorial, Definitely let me know. Thanks again for tuning in and I will see you next time.